using industry standard 3D laser scanners mounted on a tripod, vehicle inspection reports can capture a 3D view of the whole vehicle. Multiple scans from strategic points all around the vehicle allow for a complete picture. Once the cloud has been captured, we put this into Cloud Compare, load all the individual scans, calibrate and align them, and then change for visualization the mode into red, green, and blue mode so we can see the visual effect of the scans in one place. By selecting all of them, we can merge these into a common single scan file and then review the whole model as an overview. Then enabling a crop region, we can pull down to a subset, a particular area of interest, and something that would give us a smaller data set for processing further on. In this case, we'll manipulate the crop box to just pull out one of the door panels. In this case, we'll take the other side of the car and squeeze that in, so we're left with only a small subset of the data. Once that region's been selected, we can save that and export it to an external file. Other software typically that comes with a laser scanner can also be used for a similar purpose. Then starting Microsoft Word, we can take a typical report, multi-page or single page design as in this case, and we can add a placeholder image anywhere within the document, specify its location, its wrapping mode, and its size for a good placement in our report. Then using the right mouse click, we can select Alt Text and set the value to PDF 3D1 in uppercase. Having established the placeholder, we can do File Save As PDF directly out of Word. We'll name that a template so we can use that later. Okay, then next we need PDF 3D Report Gen. And here's a web page describing it and some of the industry forensic applications it can be used for. Once PDF 3D Report Gen is started, the first thing to do is to add a file. In this case, we'll pick up the full body scan E57 point cloud file that we processed in Cloud Compare and then go to the menus to change the initial view so that we get a good side view of the car when it opens. Then on the gridding tab, change the interpolation mode to point cloud so we can directly see the raw points in their original form. In case axes have been enabled, it's best in this case to disable them. Next on the advanced tab, enable simplification to allow a subset of the point cloud through to the PDF. On the simplification menus, we'll set the point threshold count to 750,000 and then go back to the input and specify our reference template report we created out of Word. Once that's set, we can push Convert to start the process of loading the E57 point cloud, merging that with the Word template report and creating a new output PDF. Once that's ready, it can be opened in Adobe Acrobat Reader DC, where we can review the document and put the mouse in the 3D area and manipulate it by using pan, rotate, and zoom to review the entirety of the 3D body scan from the car. Simple mouse controls are available, so it's very easy to learn how to manipulate this. Next, we can go back to Report Gen and we can remove the full body set and go back to the subset that we created in our Cloud Compare session earlier. Now converting for a second time, we we'll use the same report template and instead of getting the full body scan, we'll have just the subset of the door panel available as a special report.
going back to Acrobat, we can open this and see again our report and just the door panel this time at higher definitions because we have many more points available for this localized region. There's no internet required and the PDFs can be opened offline for review by anyone. For more information, see pdf3d.com.